Hello Jennies, Genesis Lewison here, as always. And today we're going to talk about a very specific person. This being the YouTuber Brandon Rogers. Brandon Rogers is like a YouTube comedian who is known for his sketching and vloggings on multiple, well, one channel. Uh, he is known for pop culture parodies, satires, and I mean like top of the line satires. And a bunch, and is very popular on many social media. So, I decided to look deeper into Brandon Rogers. Um, I eventually looked at all of his videos and realized that there's a universe. Yeah, similar to the Muppet, the Muppet chronology that I've done, and since I've stated I do more of them and I really do like chronology, I decided that I would make this video talking about the chronology of the Brandon Rogers sketches, aka the Rogers verse, as I'm calling it. I have my notes right here. So let's read. The Brandon Rogers universe specifically started December 7, 2006 with Brandon Rogers' first video, Celebrity Impressions, where he impressions Bo Rat, Ellen DeGeneres, Willy Wonka, and a sort full of other characters. Though this wasn't the specific start, it is the start of his YouTube channel, which I thought I'd bring up because it is a pretty big thing. The next video would have to be, this very start would have to be, had come December 16th, 2008, when he made the video Meet Grandpa, uh, Smiley Face, if you include that. In this video, we were introduced to the character Grandpa. At the time, we didn't know a lot about him. We just know that his name was Grandpa, and he had two grandkids, an older and a younger one. That's what we were told. Uh, at this time, I do have to bring this up, at this time, at least to me, I don't know if this was Brandon Rogers' intent, but to me, the grandfather sounded more African American inspired, like it was, like it was parroting. I mean, in the in the information box below of the fur very first, he states that it's based off his own grandfather, which this is true. But at least to me, it felt very African American based, kind of like a Madea sort of feeling, more Joe, but. We'll get to that video later. On December 26, 2008, Brandon Rogers officially became part of the universe. In the video, Fixing the Economy, Brandon Rogers played a sort of fictional version of himself in, in this video, being a news anchor. Um, I do also want to bring this up because it is a unique thing. His father was actually in that video. If, you Brandon Roger fans didn't know. The next video that was produced that was in universe was December 30th, 2008. And this was in the video with the still very African American inspired grandpa. Um, I won't lie that this video is the very first video to start the long running joke of grandpas using the pharmacist, which I think is a really good joke. Hats off. continue. Uh, here's where it gets very important. On March 30th, 2009 was the start of one of the first in-universe shows. Also the only show of his to ever get start from finish completed. This would be the show Theater Class, which was sh showed the community theater life through the eyes of him, what he is, a character who would make a bigger appearance later on, Alex Rimmer. This show ran from April 17th, 2009 to May 20th, 2012. It introduced a character who would be seen occasionally again, this being Alex Rimmer. Um, Alex Rimmer is the second character in the universe to have a name. The reason I state this is, we didn't know who the grandkids were, so we don't really include them. But, we do know that Grandpa was Grandpa. And would later find out his real name, but it's later on. Um, there was actually, and um, before I go on, I do want to say uh, what theater class introduced. In theater class, there's a person who has stars in it. Um, I don't really remember that too much. I did all this research a while ago, as you can tell by all these sheets of paper. I didn't do this like just yesterday. Um, that a lot of 
Even if Brandon Rogers doesn't really change too much about his appearance to play a character, that doesn't mean that the character isn't the, is the same person. That just means that the character is a diff is a different character each time. I said that you gotta look deeper than skin. You gotta go deeper into their moral personality. Then you get the characters you get. Um, several Brandon Rogers sketches are set in the universes. Set in the universe. As he does, the reason I say this is because a lot of his videos um, on his channel are sketches of really just himself. But um, I can bring up a few not set in his universe. Mainly fighting words. The video fighting words. Um, I don't know if that's just me, but that doesn't. That's not a real person. You know Brandon Rogers isn't really like that. Or maybe he is. I don't know. But for me, I believe that a lot of those kind of videos, same with uh, a virtual day with Brandon Rogers, they're all in the universe. Starring the fictional Brandon Rogers. You have to state the line here between fictional Brandon Rogers and real Brandon Rogers. Let's continue. On May 8th, um, there was another character who would never really be seen too much again. This being Robbie. Um, but we'll skip over him since, again, he's not very important. To me, personally, the very first video which cataclysmed all the later Brandon Rogers videos was the video that was aired April 25th, 2011, this being Mad Tea Party. The reason I include Mad Tea Party as the cataclysm and the one that started a lot of these, because after Mad Tea Party, you not only got Mad Tea Party Part 2 later on, but I'll explain it then, but you got a lot more sketches that related to more characters. Um, the next in the universe was Neighborhood Patrol. Um, it only aired two episodes from September 18th to September 29th of 2013. And none of the characters were later seen again. But I bring it up because a lot of the characters are very... It's stylized a lot like theater class. Even the intros being similar. So I bring it just to the idea that it could be set in the universe. And also, if you've ever noticed... Um, this is a theory I had. I might say it at the end of the video, but both that series and theater class are filmed by a camera. Like, there's a cameraman going around filming. Actually, that's like that in a lot of them. Either a cameraman filming or a little kid or an adult through POV shot. So, let's go. The next was a return to the Grandpa character in Grandpa Hates Valentine's Day on February 13th, 2015. 2015. My bad. In this video, I do have to bring up that gr the grandpa, to, at least to me, was no longer being voiced African American wise and was being now voiced a lot more just old person wise. Now, I know it was a little, oh, we were being racist that old, old African Americans can't sound like old people. That's not what I meant. What I meant is later on, he would play the grandpa as more of, at least to me, a very white old man. I don't know, I might be racist here, but to me, he was played much more old, like white old, crotchety, not want to do anything older man. Unlike his original, who was a bit of like a swinger, do whatever he wants, kind of freak, freak show. Um, the next video was Mad Tea Party Part 2, which was aired July 10th, 2015. But, here's what you gotta remember. Now, most people won't notice this. In that video, if you read the description below, it actually says four years after Alice's first time. If we're supposed to believe that the very first video was her first time, let's say, the very first video was that time, 23rd, just hear me out, 2013, four years later, isn't 2015. Four years later, it's 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, I think it was aired in 2014. But regardless, the main date that that video set in would be 2018, not 2015. That's what you got to always notice. The next video was, again, what I described the very first, again, another very first that would lead to more further stories. 
This would be the wonderful Angry Office, which was dated September 20th, 2015, starring many of the characters who would later be seen again. Dorian Ditson, Vish Vishlama, Rangan, Jimmy Rustler, who would become an inside joke, but I'll explain it later on. James Shaft, Bernie, Craig Dilden, Quiche. Now, here's where I'll bring it up. Later on, in another universe, he would use the Jimmy Russeller character again as another character. This time, Jimmy something else. Um, but we'll get to that eventually. Grandpa appears once again and hates Halloween on October 31st, 2015. This showed that Grandpa had a wife named Clarita. Um, and this was, to me, um, I looked deeper into him. Grandpa Hates Halloween was the first video to have a twist or deeper meaning ending. What I mean by this is the twist ending is that, well, it was all a dream. But I bring that up, unfortunately, because yes, that's not a very good twist. Hell, that's the most cliche twist. But it is the most story-wise twist there is. On uh, November 8th, 2015, we got Helen Bronze. We were introduced to Helen Bronstein in or Brownstein, depending on how you say it, in Hall Monitor Helen. Same as in November 22nd, 2015, we meet Elmer, who adds a new phase uh, to the universe by doing a very, very deep theme using, like, I'm not even going to get into it. His channel is the link to his channel below. Uh, go watch it, or if you're on Facebook, up above. Go watch it. You watch all his videos and you'll see what I mean. The very first video. The everything would change after November 29th, 2015. When he introduced... Kathy. A.K.A. Well, at the time we didn't know her name was Kathy. We just knew her as... Don... Uh... Mom. The character Mom in Mom's Day Out. In the video, we get to meet the mother, Timmy, and an older sister. Though they did state that her father was grandpa, we could all assume so far that this was where they were heading. Um, this video is well known by everyone because this is the one that went viral. And is the one that would eventually clump all together, all of them. And I say this because in the very beginning, uh, Timmy, the youngest is watching gay porn, obviously. We all know what it is. But technically, the gay porn stars a man named Brandon. It's mentioned. Is this the fictional Brandon Rogers from the videos way back when? We don't know. At least I believe that it possibly is, giving these videos a day. On December 5th, 2015, Grandpa went to Disneyland and hated it. Um, the ending... The video is in the universe, but the ending is not canon, and thus doesn't really happen. This is because it is a major twist. Um, after the video, Japanese Girlfriend, which wasn't really important to me, I thought, but eventually it would later on, on December, on December 13th, we got a Christmas sequel uh, sorry, we got a Christmas sequel to Angry Office. This was Angry Office Christmas. Um, in this, we showed that Keith was not Quiche, or Keith, I don't remember, um, was fired, Dorian's old assistant, and he now had an assistant named Diesel. Um, and also, during this episode, you notice that the boss of the company, the CEO, dies. Now, this would later on be a big matriarch to later a later video, uh, which wasn't too far away, but brings up the major point. Also, in this video, they state they're working for a new company, when in actuality, I still believe that they just messed up. Um, I don't know. Brandon Rogers knows. I don't. Uh, it's whatever. Um, the next video was another Grandpa Hates Christmas video on December 28th, blah, 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 blah. On January 11th, 2016, we met the CEO, also named, if you don't know, Bryce T Tankthrust, who is the CEO of Nightingale Audio, Auto, 
If you didn't know, um, in the in the video Angry Office aired back when, Dorian Dixon and his whole um, staff they work for Nightingale Auto, meaning that she is the current CEO after the other one passed away. Also, we meet a character who would also tie these worlds together, Donovan. Next was February 15th, 2016, where we meet Sam and Donna. These are two roommates. Donna is a gun-loving, angry old person who basically acts like a younger woman. Um, very immature young woman. And Sam is a... I don't want to be mean and say... I don't really... Again, Brandon Rogers' visions isn't my own. I say a possibly gay, possibly retarded guy. The reason I say that is because they don't really make it clear if he's gay, and they don't really make it clear if he's retarded, at least to me. Um, after that, February 28th, we meet Jürgen and his crew. In this video, we get to see that there's a member of his crew named Damien Ditson. Now, at the time, we didn't know how this was related to Dorian, but we eventually find out that these were brothers. I state that sometimes after this, in another video, he gets fired by Jurgen. But let me explain. On April 1st, 2016, yes, New Year, Fool, April Fool's Day, we got the very first crossover, which linked them all together, at a day in a park, which was Brandon Rogers' 1 million subscriber video. Here's all the information you could find. The mom from A Day with Mom, also now known as Kathy, is the mother of Timmy, Samantha, the daughter, and the baby that she holds all the time. The grandfather, whose name is George, is the father of Kathy. And which makes Timmy and Samantha the grandkids from the videos way back in like 2008. We find out that Kathy is the one. Kathy was one of the people who went to the store during Elmer's video way back when as well. We find out that the Donna in Mom's Day, Mom Day with Mom, is the same Donna from Sam and from Sam's not having it with Sam and Donna. Um, Elmer, in this same video, explains that he sees a Filipino man probably jerking off or having sex. Depends what you believe. I believe that this could possibly be a reference to a video that I didn't mention, but a video called Dino the Filipino, but we don't know. We also see that Helen, the detention teacher, is actually the detention teacher and still teacher at Timmy's school. Um, and her and Kathy fight, blah, 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 as the video goes on. We also see that Dorian's brother, Damien, and the boyfriend from Japanese Girlfriend work both at this time for Jurgen. We also find out that Jurgen in the Japanese... Jurgen and the Japanese Girlfriend fight in the video. We find out that the Japanese Girlfriend and the boyfriend from the video hire Alex Rimmer way back from theater class to be their teacher to try to help them act like they love each other. We also see that the auto, the Nightingale Auto Company, um, this being Dorian Ditson, Vishlam Ragnan, James Schaff, Craig Dilden, and Diesel, well, had to, are almost killed Jurgen. Um, who Vishlam thinks is a lesbian. Um, and we find out that they're there for a company visit. We also find out that the CEO, which we already knew from the last one, is still the CEO of Nightingale Auto. And that Jimmy, that Jimmy the Rustler has met Timmy, same as Sam has also met Timmy. Um, we see that Vishlam isn't really, this is just a little thing we notice in it. Vishlam isn't really Indian, and the Japanese girlfriend isn't really, you know, is really just a con man, as we find out in that video. We also find out that Don, the last thing we find out is that Donna, um, the roommate from Sam's Not Having It, is actually used to date George, aka Grandpa, from way back ago. The next video we get are the. The amazing kindergartners on May 2nd. Well, depends. They could be kindergarten there. They could be first graders. They could be really anything. They could not even be in school yet by how their ages are. Would be Ignacio and Sebastian on May 2nd, 
2016 in the video. I don't even remember the name. On May 30th, 2016, we meet the British family and their adopted kids. Lord Mingworthy and their family were introduced in this video. And I don't really include it because there's not a lot of stuff that would be later introduced here, but leave it a go. On June 6, 2016, we meet a bunch of care we meet we meet a new character from a completely different universe. This would be Mr. Marvels. I'll get to him later since that's a whole TV show now, and I actually state that due to the multiple actors who appear in other universes, th this universe, the Mr. Marbles universe as I'm calling it, is different than the Rogers verse where all of his sketches take place. <coughs> On July 30th, we find a sequel to Sam and Donna's Adventure. Sam and Donna's adventures, and Sam's not having it, and Sam goes to Hollywood. Um, we find out, <coughs> we find out that at some point in between a day at the park and this video, that Damien Ditson was fired by Jurgen. At least I believe that he plays the same character. We also see that the CEO is no longer boss of Nightingale Auto Insurance, but is now the boss of a movie company. Because she has Donovan filmed Sam. Um, I don't know if this is leading up to another major crossover, but if it is, can't wait to see it. On October 31st, 2016, we get another, for a Halloween episode, we get another multi-crossover of adding the characters from the last crossover with the newer characters who are introduced. These being Lord Mingworthy um, and Ignacio and Sebastian added to the lineup. Um, as I said... Plus, we get a new character, Marisol de la Gorgonzola, who is basically a fat psychologist in training, who is technically the psychologist, as we see in the video. She's the psychologist of Lord Ming Mingeworthy, um, Kathy slash the mom, Dorian Ditson, and we find out she's also the psychiatrist of Jurgen. Um, and we also find out that T Ignacio and Sebastian go to school with Timmy. The link here being that Helen is knows all three of them as students. The most recent video um, when I wrote this was a video of Ball Bronstein, who is the brother of Helen. The twist ending isn't really a twist ending if you believe it in certain ways, but I say it like this. If you believe the ending, sure. If you don't, that still works. And this was on November 27th, 2016 in Coach from Hell. Now, now, when I was making this video, writing all these down way back when, this was way back when. So now, a new video has come out called um, Christmas something. I don't remember. Sorry. Well, in this video, we see there's not a lot of connections to any of the other characters. None of the characters reach an age. Um, Craig Dilden, the actor, plays another character, same as the girl from Mr. Marvel's universe plays another character. Um, <clears throat> but my connection here is that the character Spike, Spike, the boyfriend to the daughter, is actually a nickname. Now, I know this is go really goes out there, but Spike is a nickname, and that in actuality, Spike is actually Damien Ditson. That's, that Spike is a nickname for Damien Ditson after he got clean and decided to date the main character in it. This is all, this is all done, there, there they all are, all the papers. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. Um, but I will explain, like I said at the end, I will explain to you guys what I mean. The Rogers verse has existed since day one of Brandon Rogers' channel, or almost day one. Whereas you have the Marvel's universe. Now, the Marvel's universe is with his new show, Magic Funhouse. The reason I state that it doesn't take place in it is because he doesn't play Mr. Marbles or um, Brandon Rogers plays only that one character as far as I know that one character in that show and the actor for Donna who has been seen only betraying one other character besides Donna who we all might we don't know might still be Donna I way deeper theories appears in it too as a Mrs. Bory 
Um, for all we know, this is Donna and her Donna Bori because we never know Donna's last name. But that's about it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. I know this was a pretty long video, but wanted to get this, you know, this chronological timeline explained. Um, that's a bit. Peace out, Jennies, and good day.